On Tuesday, September 8, 2020, Sinusha recorded the new case of COVID-19. This individual was a 27-year-old male visitor who arrived in St. Lucia on Sunday, September 6, 2020. On the evening of Wednesday, September 9th, the visitor was repatriated to the United States via private airline. On receipt of the notification from the Ezra Long Laboratory, the confirmed case was immediately isolated and contact tracing commenced. The investigation consisted of interviews, contact tracing, screening and testing as required of all the possible contacts. These contacts included the passengers from the flight seated in proximity to the case, that is two rows in front and two rows to the back, port personnel, taxi driver, the hotel employees and the guests. The tests done in all of the contacts of the visitor thus far are all negative. Investigations and contact tracing by the health team at the hotel on Wednesday, September 9, 2020 has indicated that the transmission risk was low. The adherence by the hotel's management and staff to the recommended protocols resulted in low exposure during the limited period of his stay. St. Lucia has recorded a total of 27 confirmed cases of COVID-19 with zero deaths. A total of 7,391 tests have been conducted to date. As more sectors open and restrictions are reduced, the public is advised as always to take the necessary personal responsibility to protect themselves and family. We continue to increase our surveillance to reduce the risks such as the illegal entry at the borders, breaches to home quarantine, and the non-adherence to protocols. We continue to advise on the maintenance of the standard recommendations for infection prevention and control, which include regular hand washing with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizers when soap and water may not be available, and to cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues when coughing and sneezing. We appeal to everyone to continue supporting our national effort to minimize the threat of COVID-19 on our island. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we will continue providing further updates on COVID-19.